Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Uh, if only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. Uh, yeah, I know I'm just tired. I, I've been working. I've been working. I've been working hard for my money. Someone's got to, baby. Yeah, I know. I know. Someone's got to. I know. Well, so since she's I, not on the phone yet. Yeah. Um, what did Linda want? She wanted a picture of your setup. Your setup. My setup's got nothing going on. What kind of setup she no, want? No, no, your setup too. I think. I think because her. So I got a laptop sister, on my lap. Well, no, I think because you were talking about all the speakers in the studio and everything like that. So, did you did you get all the clears the kids to clear all that stuff out? No, oh, shit's everywhere. <laughs> But the thing is, those light thingies are gone. I don't know where the hell yeah, they went. Yeah, yeah. They must. I, I think they took them. Yeah. So I'm going to show them what I got. That's it. A microphone. On a laptop. I take a picture of Phil. So, yeah, nice and nice. That's all I got. <laughs> I got all this other shit here, but I don't know what it is. I hear you. I hear you. And the kids aren't using it anyway. Like I told you, it's a you know, small fortune of uh, stuff that they paid for. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, they. I mean, you know, they probably clicked on Amazon and bought it, mm. right? But I, think, I don't know. I know what's going on in the kitchen. <laughs> I know. I have to send you those. I haven't downloaded it yet. It's, oh, uh, how'd it go? I I didn't even listen to it yet. I I haven't even downloaded. It. They're they're all. Uh, well, I don't think it was any of that exciting. So. Yeah, I I think th- we have th- to work on that one. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, even uh, even the other one, the. Uh, um father of three family of five yeah i i think i recorded the intro i've probably recorded it like four times now and then i've i've like lots of tracks of of me just working through some of the kinks and um but i think i i think i got a a good format going so um it's like most of it's just got to practice right yeah 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 you just gotta gotta find the it's like finding your voice right Sounds like exactly. an artsy fartsy thing, but it's it's true. No, know, it's fine. true though. Right. So no, it's true. You yeah. you got it. You got to do that. You got to try to figure it out. Yeah. yeah, it's all good in the hood. I mean, there's a lot 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 bigger things in life to worry about. No, yeah, yeah. It's it's all good. It really. So how how's things been? Kind of, things are. Things I can't remember. Are, was I? When did I talk to you? Tuesday morning. Oh, so I had gotten back from. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you were back from my Ottawa. No, what? No, yeah. no, that was the week before. Yeah, um, back so in you know, Calgary. You know who I saw today? I saw Shanae today. Oh, how's Shanae doing? She's doing amazing, oh, just like Shanae is. And Shanae's feeling like she hasn't conquered enough of the world. What's she doing now? She's going to New York. No, she's 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 here. She's just she wants a bigger piece of the. You know, it's Shanae. She's trying to get oh, a bigger piece of the pie. Good, she's trying to, you know, like. Such a bright so, young woman. You know, you know, one of the accounts she works with is Healthy Planet. Really? Yeah. That's my podcast for Phil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he does, eh? So, yeah, and I said, oh, you ah. should tell Kenny. Kenny yeah. would be interested. We sell the Healthy Planet. Yeah, it's a good account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, figured well, you'd be interesting. interested in knowing. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. I haven't talked to Shanine in a while, so yeah. oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Love oh. that girl, really. No, nah, she's a she's a sweetheart. Right? She, she, like, she just she just, just worked bright... for, for Nimi, yeah. but uh, honestly, like <clears throat> when we get together, it's just more it's more catch up time than anything else, you know. Well, because again, sometimes what it is 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 how much can you actually do for that account or not do for that account? Yeah. Any account, not not say specifically Nimi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking right. sometimes like in general, right? Is what yeah. what what can you actually contribute? Yeah. What's what's the what's the net result? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. 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 You know, like if, if this makes the podcast, uh, depending on, on, um, what the Lori segment looks like, but, um, you know, the truth is like, that's one of those two, like she and I had a very frank conversation <clears throat> today because she was worried like Shanane would be, uh, she was worried about how much she was contributing. Um, you know, because Nimi is just such a complicated product. And I said to her, that's not your fault. That's our fault, right? Like we, I understand we, we that, but that's you know that's why you like people like Shane. Yeah, yeah. Is because they actually give a shit and they worry yeah, about stuff that yeah. that that 
honestly, that I want them to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right? I, I worry about. Don't you worry about how you're yeah, contributing to your to your yeah, clients? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. You know. So it's it's just right? it's so cool, right? It's it's normal. cool because she's so cool about it, right? And so she said, you know, gosh, like you know, are we doing enough? Should I be doing more? What can I, what else can I be doing? And I said, it's not you, it's us, right? Like we, we got to figure our shit out. Right. So if we, if we don't, then you won't. Well, then there's nobody to blame. Except yeah, you guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's still, but, but I, that's, I, that's what you love about Shanine, right? Like that's, that's, that's why you love people like that is yeah. because at least they give a yeah. shit. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And it makes a big difference. Yeah. I mean, I well, want someone to actually, could, she could just sit there and collect our money. Like happily. Know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. And you're yeah. going to pay her. So it's not like it's a. Yeah, I know. Not like that's going to be a big deal. She'll still do it. So anyway, whatever. I'm glad she's, I'm glad she's doing, she's doing yeah. well. I knew she's she would. I mean, I had no doubts with, yeah. with her at all. So yeah. How's everything else going? Um, everything else is just, uh, <clears throat> it's busy. It's so busy. There's just so many things going on. You know, I, I, I think I've at? been, I've been working. I don't know. I worked over the weekend. I worked, I worked like i've been pulling late nights i've been pulling like it's just it's it's um you know like i guess from a, a business perspective it's like you're you're we're rolling into the end of the year sales teams are out trying to close deals right and finish yeah. finish closing for the year but i'm already worried about next year right like i'm worried about like what happens um you know like I think of your retail, you 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 go right, you go hard till the end of the year, right? Like like now is your time retail to make sure. Retail is all now. This is either you're going to end up in the sure, black or the red. Yeah, yeah you're going to make sure it. you got inventory. You got to make sure you got all the right sales Absolutely. on. Absolutely. That you're thinking about all the right things. Hopefully in, the people in, are right. You know, Hopefully your displays yeah, are right. Hopefully yeah. the, everything's ready to you know, go. You if, got. If you, you miss this one, if you need seasonal help, like now is the time. You got to be hiring it. Absolutely. Um, if you if you don't. You know, like you're you're gonna miss out, right? You know, and so, uh, but I like in my business, you know, we're B two B, and so things start shutting down like second week of December, right? right? Like if you think about American Thanksgiving, if you have U.S. businesses, next week is American Thanksgiving, right? Is it next week? Yeah. Or the week? Yeah, yeah, next week, right? So then, you know, like after that, you got a couple of weeks, right? And then you're done, you know. Um, well, and so totally. we're, we're we're trying to just like fit in the last bits of what we got to do and then start prepping for next year already. Right. So, right. Um, you know, yeah. but that's, that's part of it. Like yeah. in ours, you know, it's selling season is now Yeah. for most yeah. of it. But yeah. you know, I had, a, I had one of the principals on, on a call today Yeah. Um, from another continent and well, yeah, you know, we're going to launch the product uh, in Feb. So, I mean, I guess we're going to start doing the presentations right now and this and that. And I'm thinking, no, you know, nobody's going to see you now. Well, and I didn't have the heart to tell him because I just, okay, I thought, you know what, if I have to explain this, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, yeah. It's it's November 15th, guys, yeah. tomorrow. Like, no. who gives a shit? Do you think a no. store cares about a new product that's coming in February? Nope, nope, nope. nope, nope They're nope, just nope. trying to get through the next month. Yeah. They don't give a rat's ass. Nobody's looking at new products now. Mm -hmm. Small retail can still do it, uh -huh. but quite frankly, if you're really still looking at new listings and stuff, you're really at the wrong time of year. Well, like if you're if you're looking to list like a, a major, if you're looking to list Jan, Feb, March, problem. But you're not going to put anything in the store now. It's like there's no emergency right now that you have to go fight. If you're a but, what are you, you going to get, Rafael? I don't want to see you now. If you're launching in February, right? Like, are you? This is are not you, an international launch. This is not. We're not talking. This is going to be a small, concentrated launch. We're not. We're not going to go see the majors. Ah, uh, you're not going to see big. No, retailers. this is a whole different okay. league of product. Okay. If it was the majors, listen, if I had to go in and pitch um, our normal products, yeah. <clears throat> whether it's on the emergence or energy yeah. side or the, uh, the food side, sure, you could pitch now for March, April, May. You're, you have to. Really, I mean, if anything, you might have really, even missed the yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for you, for you some, of the, some, of the, some of the more nimble accounts, you got yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. one's easy, London would be yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, but a lot of but, uh, national years. players, you can't. No, they're, no they're, you're they're, done. They're, you're, you're, you've yeah. missed that. It, it should have been up September, right? Nah, yeah. And even then, you're pushing time. Probably yeah, should yeah. have been like yeah. June, July. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> right? Because they'd like to have everything done, everything in the yeah. system. Yeah. And then to start looking well, at it. But that's and fine. You, and you got to be looking at planograms, right? Like, oh, like totally. most of these guys, you know, like Kenny and I bang on inventory all the time, but, but, uh, 
you know, I mean, these, these like retailers are worried about inventory. And so they're, they're not moving stuff until they got to move it. Right. And so they all have designated planogram timing, you know, planograms are the, are the shelf designs. Right. And so, yeah. you know, the majors all have, you know, they used to have a major and a minor. I think they've only got the major now, right? So they really uh, there's only not move a lot their of people left in the stores, year. right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So most of the major majors, like a, yeah. a Walmart, a yeah. Loblaws, a Shoppers, yeah. yeah, you probably got a lot of modules once a year. Once yeah. A year. yeah. So like yeah. if 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 February is skincare, yeah, right, which this yeah. particular product is, yeah, and it's high end, like it's prestige. But if it's skincare, you know, in a normal major, like yeah. August, September, you would have had your, have your presentations most likely in. You might have snuck one through in an October, but quite frankly, even the buyer wants to put it down. Then it goes to the planogram. They yeah. look at it. Yeah. Maybe early Jan, maybe even in December, they might say yay or nay because mm-hmm. they'll see how the planogram fits and stuff, but you're, you're not presenting anymore. No. Well, you're, I you're mean, in queue. You almost really, you need to work back from when the planogram goes, right? So let's oh, say, absolutely. let's say skincare goes, uh, Say it goes Feb one. Let's say it goes Feb one, right? So then you you got to subtract eight months out of that. That's when, that's when you know major retailers are kind of doing the are probably the first really start looking yeah. at it. Yeah, they'll they'll do analytics then. Yeah. They'll start running numbers. They'll yeah. start thinking about all that stuff. Um, you know. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then I'd probably say like five and a half to six months back from launch date is when you need to be in. Yep. Cause they're going to shut it down yeah. and probably four months back is when the planogrammers actually look at it. And three months back is when you probably get an item number and then a month back you get your PO. Yeah. yeah. But it's basically been decided like closed. Um, well, if it's a Feb launch, it was closed probably October one, November one, absolute latest. Yeah. 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 Absolute uh, latest. You know, like, so it, it's, um, it's kind of a big deal. Like you, you gotta, you gotta check that stuff. Cause it just, um, I just texted Lori the the Zoom link, okay. uh, but uh, you know you got to check that stuff because if you don't, you know you got you got problems, right? Like like I've seen it, right? I, I'm sure you have, where like somebody shows them goes, hey, listen, I got a new product. Can you push it? And you're kind of going, dude, no. Like like the worst would be to show up March first for a February planogram, right? And you're like, no, you got to wait a whole year now, right? Like, can you imagine that? Like, if majors, you product, like the nationals like, would do that. I mean, yeah, I would yeah, take it. Yeah, we used to look yeah. at it. If the product was good, I didn't care yeah, when it was yeah, open or closed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's yeah. an old, that's old school and that doesn't really yeah. exist. So look at who we have on. Well, now our podcast looks so much better. It does look so <laughs> much better. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. How are you? We, are you are you? hearing the voice of Lori Shoplin. And we have, so we have a really, really, really special episode because this is, I don't know if you know this, this is episode 100 for us. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, good this for is us. episode 100. And this is our first WWLD. LD. So what would Lori do session? So we're actually kicking off our special 100, um, you know, podcast episode with Lori Shoplin. Oh, how cool is that? Right? How, how cool. amazing is that? I feel like that? I need how the cool champagne glass here or something. I know, I know, I know. Exactly. I know. Well, where is it? That's awesome, guys. <laughs> get Jimmy to do something. Yeah. You have to get the champagne going. Let's go. Giddy up. <laughs> Lori has the fancy mic. Did you see that? She's no, got see. the little lavalier thing. Oh, look right? at yeah, what a look at her. big shot. Yeah. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, mancy. I like wow. it. I like it. I like it. You're gonna have to send Linda your setup. I, I'm gonna text her mine. I don't know why she wants mine, but we're saying think, Linda Webb wants us to see our, our setups for uh, recording. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I, th- I think Linda's sister is starting a podcast, so that's what. So, it is. so I think I think she's just trying to figure out, you know, what's what's going on in the kitchen. You know, she's been dirty, baby. So, she's yeah. been dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if this is the best sound. I I think you guys sound great with those bigger mics. So you you sound pretty good. Yeah, your sound's actually pretty good. Okay, Laura Shoplin. You sound good all the time. All the time. All the time. Okay, all the you time. Guys are you're with... me up for something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust this. No, we just want to make sure we don't lose you. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty a simple plan here. Oh my gosh. Oh we talk my gosh. nicer. Maybe she won't bail on us. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh. Um. So yeah. So episode one hundred. We thought what we would do today is also bring Lori on. We've 
we kind of been kicking this around and, and I got to talk to Lori about this a um, couple of weeks ago, but we thought we'd bring um, Lori on because um, she's just always a wealth of knowledge. And, um, you know, we thought we'd, we'd, you know, have our first what would Lori do session. Do you have something um, planned for her though? Do I have something planned for her? No. So I wanted, oh, I, I think, I think um, we talked about kind of planning out episodes, but I thought episode one of, of WWLD could be about one giving the uh, the listeners a sense of what what would Lori um, mm-hmm. do and what that looks like. Um, we've obviously got Lori on, and she's amazing. So that you know the listeners now have a chance to think about things in their lives that they might want to be able to ask Lori about. Um, and then I didn't know if, you know, um, Laura, you, you, we've been torturing you with our episodes, so I don't know if you have any, <laughs> you have any reactions to th- <laughs> any regrets? Do you want condolences now? I, like, <laughs> you know, like you could just say we're uncoachable and hang up and then, and then we, we'd probably cry for the rest of the episode, but, um, that doesn't be true. Anyway, welcome on the show. Thank you, guys. And it's 100. Like, that is the, that's that pretty, is cool, huge, eh? pretty cool, eh? Yeah, that's that pretty cool. That is a really big, big commitment for wow. you guys on here. Wow. So. Yeah. Um, I love it. It's funny because since we've been having discussion, it is yeah. so funny. And for the listeners, if they could just see every time I finish listening to an episode, I email you guys going, okay, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm crying, laughing so hard about different things. And it's... Um, and what's so great, like I even think back to like last week's episode with Lynn, is that yeah. Okay, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and I just, I was like, I almost want to pop on right there because there is somebody that the, the epitome of um, entrepreneur is that her mindset is that whatever challenges and obstacles she comes up, mm. she just doesn't see them like that. Like, mm-hmm. right. So she's just like, okay, let, let's figure this out. And she doesn't stumble. Whereas so many of us as entrepreneurs, which all three of us are, Mm -hmm. can get caught in that space of, oh my gosh, this didn't go according to plan. Something's gone wrong. And so what do we do when we do that? We go and we shelter and we hide and we actually don't end up producing anything Mm -hmm. and don't get anything done. So I thought that last week's episode was brilliant of just epitomizing. She was able to take, yes, she's got strong skill sets to be able to do things, but the mindset was what I kept hearing from her was, oh my God, she just didn't see, she didn't see no as an option, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, let's figure this out. And so from that, I was just like cheering on the sidelines of for your listeners to know of when they stumble, it's like, okay, I can either, this can be an obstacle or I can sit back and go, okay, <laughs> what am I going to do? Right? What are some totally. other options? Yeah. You know what I really, I liked, really about liked about her about too, her too is it was funny. Like she's, um, She's not stumbling, like you said, like she's got it sort of figured out. And yet when she's talking, she's not talking massively confident. Mm. She's not, she's uh, discounting her abilities or doubting them to some degree. And we're all listening, thinking, holy man, you've got like your, you've got your game figured out. Like, I mean, like, and you're not talking, you know, we're not talking about making an appointment or a time and you're talking a couple pennies, You, you know, we're talking these are, yeah. these are dough. hardcore, yeah, yeah. you know, a million dollar investments. This isn't small. Yeah. And she's just, you know, blotted on, like yeah. thinking, holy moly, that's crazy. But can you think I was you so inspired it? by her. I thought she was awesome. But I think you nailed it is that it would be, I would offer a quiet confidence that she has yeah. because there's no way she does what she's doing when she's listening to those voices that we all have in our head of saying, she never get anything done. Right. Yeah. 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 And yes, see, she's got this uh, an unbelievable ability to to pull out of it and think, no, I can do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I can do this. Yeah. And she just does. I I was really I really enjoyed talking to her as well. Yeah. 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 I thought she was just really inspirational. Well, and I thought for your listeners to be able to, and I love the idea of bringing her on was being able to go, okay, so here's somebody that has thought and and sort of built their life thinking it was going to look like this. And I mm-hmm. love the part where her and her husband driving to work, she was driving her husband to work all the time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, how much longer can we do this? <laughs> how many of us have had that thought before? Yeah. And so for her <laughs> to, to pivot and make those changes yeah. and to 
have that belief. And I mean, so many of us want to do it, but what the difference as a life coach and the clients that I coach is what makes that difference is then we get stuck with the thoughts that keep serving mm -hmm. up that we've just had over on repeat mm -hmm. on repeat. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, I get to decide if I'm going to continue to have those thoughts any longer, right? That my job should look nine to five. Well, as an entrepreneur, it doesn't. So, yeah. okay, yeah. that's okay. So, yeah, I, I, I like uh, how you dump them though. How you dump yeah. those thoughts. Sorry, Phil. No, that's okay. It's just one of those things. It's, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard for a lot of people. You know, she's working. She's, she was, she had a good job. Poppy yeah. had a good job. I mean, these aren't, these aren't, these are not um, uneducated people. They're professionals. They have designations. They've got the jobs. So there's not like there's what most people will listen to is there's really no panic. Like, why would you leave? Like, it's all those things. Yeah. And you know, it's hard to, it's hard to dump those thoughts from your head, you know, and, and, you know, older cultures and all that stuff play into that. And you just don't mm -hmm. do a lot of changing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, why would you quit? Like those things are ingrained into your yeah, head since you're there. little. And yet I just, she just pushes right through. Yeah. But I thought it was, I thought it was neat because the difference between Lan and, and say the two of us, right, is, is when we talk about it, we kind of talk about the moment when you, you know, when we, when we switched, right? Mm -hmm. But for her, it was an evolution, right? It was like, you know, she said like 14 years ago, we started this and went, this sucks, right? But um, I was really, I was really blown away by that, right? Because I think you know, and I, I wanted to pick your brain about this, Lori, is, is I think change, sometimes like you and I, Kenny, we, we come across like change is something you just, let's go do it, right? Like chop, 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 let's get it done. In her case, it was like, yeah, I got to change, but she changed her mindset. And then it, it took her 14 years to figure out what it was, right? But she just stayed, you know, as Len is, right? She's kind of like humble, calm, super ridiculously skilled and just kind of like chipped away at it until she found the thing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and I think, I think that's a skill set in itself, right? Because sometimes it really isn't that obvious, right? Like maybe it takes a while to figure out what it is. Chipping right? away for like, 14 years though. It's pretty impressive. Right. No, no, Most really. Right? Would chip away yeah, for yeah. a couple and then probably yeah. give up or, yeah. you know, yeah. just get down on themselves or yeah. whatever doubts they have, it probably yeah, just yeah, end, yeah, yeah. but she yeah. just chipped and chipped. And chip, and chip. Seriously, right? Like, and just so humble about it. But it, I just yeah. like I that impressed me a lot, right? And I think um, that was the one part of last week's podcast that I thought it came through. But I, I just didn't. I I, I even me it, it like re-listening to it for quality. I was blown away by you know kind of that like really quiet dedication she had to like just figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know the difference between I'm trying to think of. Um, uh, some examples of when you talk about change, right? And of, of what, so if, had a, if I had a client in front of me that, and I have had some that have had those career kind of transition mm -hmm. opportunities, right? They can see the writing on the wall of the organization mm -hmm. or the industry in some of mm -hmm. the some cases. And it's just, um, there, there's definitely a process to go to. So Kenny, for your back to your point is I don't think you go right from one thought to the next immediately. There's definitely techniques in order to do it. And I use something called bridge thoughts, right? To be able to, it's kind of like jumping across the pond, mm -hmm. right? To be able to go, okay, I'm going to be, have a corporate job to all of a sudden entrepreneur. It's way too big of a jump to be able to think, okay, I can, I can do this. I can do this tomorrow, right? And make that change. So it's, what thoughts are going to lead me to be able to get into the mindset of being able to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. right? And so catching the thoughts that are still holding you in that corporate nine to five or the other ones that are open and more willing to change. And so I kind of call them like, um, you know, we often want to reach for like the, the pixie dust one that makes us feel really good. But if it's not believable for us, it's just like you're reaching for something and you're going to fall. So it's got to, you've got to be able to make the transition of your thoughts. So can you write on, like, it's just, you have to do it in stages. So we, you know, there's a really good um, visual that it's kind of like climbing stairs, right? Of I can't, I, I, I'll try, I will, right? And you kind of continue to go up the stairs until you actually do it. So it's mm -hmm. like doing that with a new thought. 
right? So I often will test my clients of like, they come up with a new thought and it makes them feel great. I'm like, okay, next question is how believable is that thought? Right? That's if that's, if you're lucky enough to have someone like you around Mm -hmm. a lot of people, I think what they do is they have those thoughts and they probably won't act, act on them, but they start Mm -hmm. thinking and then they may give up on it and then they get another thought and they make, you know what I mean? Like it still takes like climbing the stairs is doable and it takes some time and some practice, but there's a lot of people that just look at the stairs and say, well, no. So, or they take I, a step or two and think, Oh, yeah. wow. That's, you know what I mean? Like it, it's yeah. still, it's still having that ability to persevere and just to like, I just, that's, I think that's what I just found really intriguing with her is that she was just so, like, I mean, the stairs could have been 70 miles. I mean, this, the girls, yeah. gonna, yeah. she was climbing those stairs. Yeah. 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 And, right? and she was just going to do it. Is she, and here's the, the biggest, um, when we talk about change, mm-hmm. and I've, I've heard it on other episodes as well of, well, what if I make a wrong decision? Here's, here's the mindset of somebody else is that I, I have the belief that I'm a woman that makes great decisions. So yeah. whatever decision, whatever stair I choose to take, is then I decide that's the right decision mm-hmm. with for me today. Mm-hmm. And I never second guess myself because that's undermining my own confidence. Right. So is that it, normal? It's that's where I've had to get to. And, exactly. and let me tell you, yes, absolutely. Yeah. But that takes practice. That's like, it's, yeah. it's funny when you um, like, what would Lori do kind of thing on here is I would offer, it's like this hour that we're going to be together is it's like a gym for your brain. Right, because we tend to think that all of a sudden we want to adopt a new way of thinking and we only have to do it once. When we've had this other part of our brain, the primitive brain just being on this rinse and repeat for, for most a of a long us. time. Time. Yeah. Right? So how do we how can we expect these new thoughts to stick if we don't actually exercise them? Right? Yeah. So you go and you use an exercise machine at the gym, I'm gonna show you how, right? But then it's up to you. And then what measures do you actually use that to exercise? So we have a whole bunch of different tools in order to do that. But I think that's where people, when you talk about perseverance, is we give up thinking this new thought should come easier. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You got 50 odd years worth of a same thought coming 60,000 times in a day. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to buck that trend, right? That's been going on for years and years. Yeah. Yeah. But it is possible. And Lance, totally a great example. Yeah. And I was just like cheering her on the sidelines. It was awesome. So are we. Yeah. yeah. Like seriously, I, I just, I, yeah, I mean, wow. Yeah. I know. I still think it's a wow because I just don't, I just know so many people that because if they didn't have a resource, let's say they didn't have a you or um, people have done it to try it, you mm-hmm. know, they, they're, we're, we're, so her, her environment was an office, let's say. Well, what's everybody else in that office doing? The mm-hmm. same thing she's doing mm-hmm. or yeah. he's doing. So what reinforcement are you getting? Well, obviously that this is okay because we're all doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you're not getting that, you know, so if you, and I don't know what other, what other people she has, Phil, maybe you're, maybe you were the inspiration. Maybe there's other people that she's looked at who have done changing type of mm-hmm. things, but otherwise, I mean, not to pick on accountants because you know, there's one downstairs, yeah. but I kind of know <laughs> how they Mine's think, upstairs. right? And there's <laughs> upstairs. So it's kind of a very yeah. linear, you know, yeah. type of look. And yeah. I think you just get, yeah. it's, I, I just, I'm still amazed that because I, I pictured her environment and maybe it's not fair because I'm making a lot of assumptions, yeah. but I pictured her environment and the people she's around yeah. and they've been sitting there for 25 or 30 years and, she, and she's going an opposite way. It's, it's, it's so cool. Especially because yeah. if you don't, if I don't, I'd like, I know you, Lori. So if I really had to, I could pick up the phone and say, listen, uh, you know, walk me through this one. Like, help me through this one. But not everybody has that. No. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You got to, you still have to have to yeah. find somebody. So I'm, I was, I would almost wanted to ask her after I listened to it, like, who was the person or, or where did you go to kind of give you that? No, I'm not going to give up because I just finished talking to blah, blah. She and she didn't think, though, but I, that, I think that's the most amazing thing about her, right? It's more weird. She no, I don't think so. I I think she's a true entrepreneur that way because she just went. Because I think the neatest thing about entrepreneurs, what I love about entrepreneurs is, you you really don't take no for an answer, right? Is is you know you you the mindset is, I'm in this for myself. I don't really have a lot of resources. I'm just going to go and make resources, or I'm going to find resources. 
Um, you know, at very worst, there's YouTube and I'll figure it out, right? Like, do you know what I mean? And, and that's, it's less a lot of like, perseverance once again. Though. No, but, like but, but, you know, you. but you're like that. I'm like that. Lori's like that. Jim's like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you, um, I think I don't that, know. I wanted to be more like Len. Uh, dude, you like, yeah, no, no. Okay. Wow. Come on. So Len's got like this cape and she, you know, she kind of flies around the city and she kind of goes, well, I'm not flying like, but whatever. But I'm just saying that I, I think it's a trait we all have. Um, you know, she just has more of it. Right. So I think, you know, the whole AutoCAD discussion was ridiculous, right? That was like, hilarious. Okay, <laughs> seriously? Like, you know, seriously? People only train, you know, like three years in community college for this. You looked at two YouTube videos and you're like, drawing really? AutoCAD. Like, oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> what the hell are you? Freak. I know, I know, I know. But I'm, I, I, just think, I just think that she, like, you know, the more I talk to her, the more that seems to come through is that she just went, well, this is ridiculous, right? I don't want to do this, right? So how do I just... Like, and she just started like picking it, picking it, picking it, picking it, picking it. And then, you know, started to unravel it. Right. I think that, 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 that's the part that most people don't have. I don't know if I have longevity to pick at something for 14 years. Right. Like, you know. Yeah. I don't know if I do either, to be honest with you. Maybe that's what I found her so intriguing. Yeah. 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 No, I just, and the quiet confidence is amazing. So yeah. 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 My goodness. Yeah. Um, wow. So, so I have, I have a practical question for you, Lori. Yeah. I, I, um, if you can't I, answer Laura, I'll, I'll give you a hand. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I want to make sure, you know, feel good about myself here. <laughs> I know. Well, I had lunch on, on Monday with a, a friend who's been a, a brand manager for <clears throat> 20 years. Um, in a major CPG company, right? And and he can he can see it coming, right? So this is probably the third lunch I've had with him. I don't see him that often. I see him like once every three or four months, right? And um, you know, like kind of three lunches ago, he had said, you know, I think this thing's coming, right? Like you know, things are shrinking. You know, I'm 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 not landing the directorship role. You know, I, I'm, I'm probably going to, if it's not this time, it's going to be next time I'm going to go. And so we've had three of these and I've said to him, listen, I, I think you have to start thinking about what you want to do. Like if you want to hang around and wait for a package to come your way, you're entitled to do that, right? You've been there 20 years, you know, so you can cash out or however you want to term that. But I said to him, like, I think you need to start thinking about what you want to do when you grow up. Right. Um, but I feel like, you know, so, so his case aside, I feel like that's a really terrible term, you know, what you want to do when you grow up. Cause I, I feel like it's so ubiquitous and it is like something that we struggle with from like the time you're 16 until I don't know, now. like, yeah, like now. Right. And now. you're kind of like, <laughs> so funny because oh, I have no. a totally different thought on that because yeah. the, 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 perception I take it from it is when we were kids, we dreamt anything was possible. Uh, I love it. Did you guys get that? Lord, just got dropped wisdom. Cynical. See, look how nice that was. That was just, uh, okay, please continue. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I'll shut up now. <laughs> well, it's because he's on this, he or she's on this cycle, just like we were talking about of this. And you'll hear me say this all the time of this yeah. rinse and repeating yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. And it's, it's there's no shame in it it's just how our brains are programmed to be able to do it Mm -hmm. the only difference between those that are living and it's funny my word is like extraordinary lives Mm -hmm. is simply because those people are choosing to be intentional about it Mm -hmm. so if he's deciding and he totally gets to make that choice but if he gets to decide well wait a minute there may be something different it's that childlike vision of being like, okay, if anything was possible, what would that be? And then he just gets, and here's the thing, like my belief, and I see it witnessed in my clients, anything's mm-hmm. possible when you actually get your, your mind in the game in mm-hmm. order to make it happen. It is like amazing. It, it is. Start. And and I love, no, I, I love the reframing, but yeah. do you, do you think that the, do you think that's the whole set of stairs, I guess, to extend the example that you had earlier? Because that's, that's kind of like the entire flight of stairs, right? And I guess I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, 
you know, because it, it clearly is not a message that's connecting, right? Like I've, I've kind of had the same lunch with him and again, right? Like, so if he chooses not to find what's next, that's his choice as well. Yeah. But is there, if that's the whole set of stairs, what's, um, what's a good, like first step on that stairway to try and figure out how to get, you know what I mean? Cause yeah. you know, you're going to look at the whole set of stairs and go, Bones are creaky. I'm out of shape. That's why people stay because they look <laughs> at it's daunting if you know, whatever. Where's the elevator to get to the top, right? Like, but so is there like is there um in your set of exercises, like what's what's a good first step to kind of, you know, take, take one the first step, step at a time? Yeah. Sure. Well, uh, it would be um and, and it's so interesting. I had a client today yeah. that is on the verge of well, she had a miserable meeting yesterday and it just did with the little quotations, visual meaning yesterday. <laughs> and so she instantly went to get her feelers out to change jobs today. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. So my, so she called instantly. We did a quick session and my offer to her was you may ultimately decide to change where I want to always get you to is making any decision from a place of empowerment versus a place of weakness. Right. So she's thinking and reacting mm -hmm. to something that happened. Mm -hmm. And so similar to your colleague, <clears throat> it mm -hmm. would be, you know, is he just choosing to stay there? What's his reason for staying? And mm -hmm. is it out of scarcity, right? Mm -hmm. the, the thoughts that are, I can't do any better than this. Yeah. How does that make him like, how is that working for him? He yeah. may, there's lots of people out there that that's yeah. just that comfort level. Yeah. So he has to wager what that difference is because at some point the, the scale is going to tip in, in one way or another, he's going to just decide to stay yeah. or he's going to decide, you know what, I, this isn't where I want to finish off the rest of my years. Yeah. So what would that be? But until he can decide which, what the compelling reason is for both, then he gets to decide to do it out of feeling empowered versus that he, he can't have that option. Right. So he's got to decide to go before he takes a step. But maybe your friend was there too, Laura, that your client, like, I don't know the person, but maybe it's been enough thinking for the last year, year and a half. And sometimes it just takes that sort of one catalyst or that the, the last straw mm. that pushes it over. So even though, yes, it's an emotional decision, it might be based on six, nine, 12 months of feeling that, you know, yeah. You know what I mean? Like maybe her mind was already, I don't know where maybe like it was there yeah. and all she needed was just that one. It's that one nudge sometimes. Yeah. Like I'm hoping, like you said, I hope she hasn't done it from a place yeah. of, of weakness and that you're just not reactionary because what happens is you make those decisions a week later, you're thinking, ah, shit, you know, yeah. I don't know if yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. And I well, don't know where her situation's at. But. Here's the thing. And I wonder how many of your listeners would uh, identify with this. And this is a lot of the, this is the crux of what, the work that I do is the, it's what I call um, emotional adulthood of taking ownership for how I'm feeling. So if, so let's go to, um, to Phil's friend is if he's actually thinking that he can't do something right out of fear of doing something else, he's, he's thinking something outside the box is more scarier than, than his own sense of doing something. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. hard when we're not putting it, in actual forms we're yeah, yeah, yeah. Really doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's being, he's being led by like that's, that is not an empowering feeling at all. Yeah. Right. So he's doing it out of what he's fearing yeah. versus him choosing to do. Right, right. 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 My, my colleague today or my client today was the reaction from yesterday was she had expected a different result and she had hoped to feel a different way. Right. So she was looking for accolades for something that a, a project that had happened and mm -hmm. she didn't get it. And so that part is that will continue to follow her wherever she goes. Right. She's always going to think that if her boss doesn't tell her she's done a good job, then she hasn't done a good job. Right. What I was coaching her on is wait a minute before you decide if this is the right job. And you're right. There may be a number of these, but if it's all based on the premise that She's waiting for somebody else to make her feel a certain way. Yeah. She's never going to find that. No. no he needs that to decide happen. herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't right? happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, that makes total sense. And you're Phil, your, your friend, uh, 
because I have a lot of your friends. They're all, a lot yeah. of my, they're all in the same thing. And, yeah. and the ones I always worry about, for lack of a better word, because I can't think of another word, is when you're sitting there, you're not happy. You know you're not going to be happy tomorrow because yeah, you weren't yeah. happy yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And the logic is, well, if I hang on, you know, I'll get packaged out or, or whatever, yeah. potentially. Yeah. And I'm always thinking, okay, well, you're, you're, wish, you're, you're wishing to get, in essence, fired. Okay, yeah. I mean, because you yeah. want to get paid to be fired. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, how about if the last, like, three more years, like, I mean, it's not that you wasted three years, I guess, but I feel like you wasted three years. Like, I mean, I mean, do, you're waiting for a negative outcome with a positive paycheck kind of idea. I'm not like, I'm not too sure for me. I'm not, I don't, I don't get that. Well, I struggle. Moment, yeah. Go the ahead. Go ahead. I would always ask would be, do they like the reason, right? If, if they are mm -hmm. um, choosing to stay and again, it's coming from that mentality of they're choosing to stay versus they feel they have no other option. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because, and again, if they have the thought, I have no other options and they're there, they get to decide what kind of life that is for them. Yeah. And so I would often say to somebody, you get to decide, but do you like your reason for staying? And if it's out of that place of, yeah, this is, this is how I want to finish off my career here. And I'm that's okay your choice. To check in yeah. and out, totally fine. But yeah. if it's for the fear factor that I, this is all I can do and I can't do anything else then that's when I'm like, how is that thought making you feel? Yeah, Probably yeah. showing up small at work and it's small in life. Yeah, right? yeah. For sure. I don't think either make you feel very good though. I guess is where I'm sort of I, throwing I, it at you because yeah. you, I, you know, you're waiting. Like that, I just, cause I just, I, 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 well, I don't even know your friend Phil, but I can picture about 12 of my friends. Yeah. It's, it's that I can just see this. Yeah. I hate it, Yeah. but I won't go, but I hate it. Yeah, but I'll wait till them to package me because then I don't feel about bad going, but I don't want to be here. And I'm thinking, I don't know. I feel like you're just making not a great choice on not a great choice. I mean, you're choosing to stay. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. But again, you know, they. But all I would do is we won't know until they they decide. Do I like my reason for doing? Well, they have yeah, to. Yeah. It can't be me. I can just tell you what my feelings yeah. are. But who cares? I'm not in their shoes, and it's not my life. You got to make yeah. your own. I, I just said, decisions. I think I, what I said to him, the part that, um, and I think Lori, you were knocking on this is, is I, I think that, um, I just said to him, it's like, you're putting yourself in a really complex place, right? Like it's just, like I said, trying to figure out what you want to do with the rest of your life or the next stage of your life is complicated enough. But if you're going to stay and just do enough work, um, like I'm not like that, right? Like I'm I'm not I'm not a I'm not a just do enough sort of guy. Like I, I don't I'm not wired that way, right? So if I'm just doing enough, I'm I'm probably just going to leave, right? Because I, I I don't have the ability to paint grays like that, you know. So I'm either I'm in or I'm out. And so I said to him, like, you're having such a problem figuring out what you want to do next with your life. I don't know how you come to your job every day knowing you know, you come here to do the bare minimum to get fired, but, or not get fired or not. Yeah. Like I'm not I, just like, this person. So both complex, ways. Right? Like, if I get fired, I'll get paid. Yeah, yeah, if I yeah. don't get fired, but, I'll stay and get paid. But there's, there's All more, right? right? Like that, that's the first like weird, weird part of it. Cause I don't understand that. And I like that would make me leave. Cause I just don't understand how to like, hang on or push off or whatever the hell you're trying to do there. But then the other part is like, so you're going to take all that energy and, and do what? Like you're, you're not, we've had three lunches and you're still not going out to find another answer. So what are you doing with the rest of that time? Like, are you, are you just going to sit around and like choose to, you know, I think Lori, to your point, like, are, are you going to just sit there and not choose? Like what, <laughs> Like the whole thing is weird to me, right? Because I, I don't understand. Like there's no bias for action, choosing, right? Him not choosing. Yeah. We think from an outsider point of view that he's he's just still deciding. He's decided. I, I think you're right. He's like, he's choosing right? as he's he's, he's choosing. He's choosing. Yeah. He, he, I listened to you the, la the last time we talked when you yeah. said that, Laurie. That sticks with me. So yeah. every time I hear some, oh, they have no choice. And I, I goes, really? Yeah. 
Well, well he's, you he's have no choice. You're choosing to sit you. there. You're yeah. choosing to pick which side. You're yeah. choosing to to yeah. wait to get fired. You're choosing to stay if they yeah. don't. Every every one of those steps you've decided, yeah. and they're not yeah. right or wrong. Whatever you feels good for you, yeah. you got to do. I'm okay with that. Yeah. But you can't you can't blame the environment. You're the mm-hmm. one. You made the choice. Here's, mm-hmm. here's the thing, as um, as a coach that I've come to completely appreciate is the person in front of me. So Phil, it's so interesting, right? Of um, yes, we're talking about your friend, but the more coach me actually wants to coach you of why is this a problem? Because mm-hmm. this could just te- quite honestly be his existence mm-hmm. of he will completely just recycle and come in and out of his indecision, but it makes you uncomfortable because it's not something you would typically do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I, I kind of said to him, I think we have another lunch. I don't like, I said, I, I like, I don't know how to help you, but I, I don't know if you want help from me. Like I actually said that to him because I, I don't, I can't, it's such a weird place. Like I, I, I like you, Kenny, I, I have a whole bunch of friends here, but some of them have decided, right? Like, so, so I have um, one friend who's, she's decided, like she knows that she's in the next cut or the next cut. Right. So and, and she's well along there. And she, so she said, listen, I'm here. I'm going to give them exactly what contractually I need to give them. And when I'm at the office, I'm at the office. But um, as soon as I leave the office, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing more, right? Like, so I'm, I'm not, you know, in packaged goods, you, you never really do eight hours. You kind of do like 10, 12 hours, right? That's kind of the industry standard. She said, no, I'm going to give them the eight hours that we're contracted for. And then she has started, she, she, um, she started a, a, um, uh, what do they call it? The continuing education courses. Um, she showed the dedication, you know, like she wants to do some design stuff and they said, Oh, you've got to do, you've got to be able to show us your grade 12 math course. And she was like, I've been out of high school for, you know, four years years. or whatever, you know, like, you know, so she actually showed the day she went back and took a grade 12 evening math class to make sure that she had that prerequisite that she was brushed up on her stuff before she went, you know what I mean? Like, so, so to me, that's, that's such a clear path because she's like, I'm going to wait, but here's my delineation of effort. Right. And then here's here, I'm going to give them what's theirs and then I'm going to take what's mine. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, And so to me, that was like, uh, I understand, like, I understand like you've made a choice and you're moving um, as opposed to this other person who, who kind of like, He's well, stuck you don't, in. You don't the, know what, he's what stuck in doing. the cycle, right? Like it, it's like there's a, a whirlpool forming around him, and he's kind of standing on a little rock in the, you know, yeah. or, or he's standing at the bottom of the stairs. And or just maybe not. it's not even. A, maybe it's not a whirlpool. Maybe it's a nice <laughs> placid lake. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a hot he's tub quite for him, right? Like maybe he just you know, likes like, to complain, and quite frankly, you know what? Where he is, he's yeah, okay he, with. He could be sitting. In I don't know, soaking around. I, I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't get yeah. it either. I'm not. I'm not understanding. I understand her better. I like. I understand the other one. I mean, I'm not a good fan of. You just do the bare minimum, but yeah. I understand what she's doing. She's, she's doing the job properly. She's, yeah. she's has a life. Yeah, like yeah, she yeah. wants to pay yeah, bills yeah. and eat food. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. You need a paycheck yeah. and she's trying to better herself yeah. on the time that yeah. she would have given to them. She's giving it back to herself. Oh, you say, right. I, 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 I understand. I understand I'm, like, that. I'm like, Phil, yeah, I, it's, I, it's, I don't understand the other one. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what's just, just catching ourselves when, when we're in that spot of recognizing he's, it's a great example of he is, he's not doing what we think we would do in that situation. Right. And so our brain instantly wants to go, something's gone wrong. And what he's doing is wrong. And what we are doing is right. Or what we have, what we've done is wrong. And what he's doing is exactly. Right. He should listen to us because we're trying to fix him. <laughs> he's not paying attention. <laughs> he's not getting the story. Like he's not paying attention. The stairs are here. Take my damn hand. We're going up the stairs. I don't give a shit if you want to go or not. We're going up the stairs. That's coaching. (laughs) You're right, Ken. That's Mike Ditka coaching. coaching. That's how you coach. (laughs) Get your shit together and get up those damn stairs. Chop, 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 chop. Right, Phil? That's how you coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. None of this talking how you feel. (laughs) Wake up and let's get going. Uh, Suck it up, buttercup. (laughs) Thank God that coaching style died. (laughs) I won't lie, you know, part of my brain was like, ah, 
Run, move, move, move. Like, seriously, move. do Fire something, me. man. Do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. But you're yes. right, though, right? That's what happens. I mean, I think it's because I think we all do that. It's this is why we're in such a mess in both countries right now, especially mm-hmm. our neighbor to the south, is because you've, you, you, we've lost the ability to, to sort of not one, just not fix what other people really truly believe because what they believe is what they believe. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, if this person is happy and then I should respect that. I mean, if they're asking for help, I, I should be, I should be human and, and, and help. That's what, that's what we should do. But maybe, you know what, at the end of the day, they just want to have a lunch with Phil, dump that on the table. And, you know, quite frankly, Phil, it's kind of like the one upstairs and the one downstairs. They really don't want to know. They don't really want us to fix anything. Like just shut up and listen. And that might be it. I don't, I'm not good at that either. Trust me. I believe me. I, I try, I try to do what would Lori do a lot, but about a half an hour into the story, I think it's time for the solution. But so, so I have, sorry, you know, Lori, I like, just have to like, go there and then I get nothing but shit for it, but I have to get to the solution. But, but I think, I think that that's a legitimate thing too. Cause I think, I think that the, the next choice is really my choice, right? Like, like, yeah, you, you know, in, in all of one? this stuff, right? Like, so we've, we've had three lunches, right? And it, and it's great. He's, he's a friend. I, I love the guy and everything, but, um, you know, the next time that lunch comes up, I may be having a conversation before that, right? It is like, yeah. Hey, you know, I may or may not be able to make lunch. How are things going? Right. And if the story sounds about the same, you, it did, you know, life. like I, I think back and it probably consumed, it probably consumed like three quarters of each lunch. Right. Yeah. And so it, it wasn't that we were going to catch up and everything. He was looking for advice that he may or may not use. Yeah. You know? And but so sometimes that's just you have friends. I probably need to, use your friends, right? But, but I probably need to make that next choice is do I, do I want to go? Because if it winds me up like this, you know, cause that lunch was Monday, right? Like yeah. I can't even remember what Maybe I, I let did go Monday of the afternoon, days but, but it's, it's like Thursday night and, and it's the first thing I dropped on, 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 yeah. you know, <laughs> what would Lori do is, tonight, right? Like so. Great, great example though is that the the experience that you had, yeah. right, is your brain instantly went of an audience. If you could see, Lori talks with her hands. I'm not the Italian one on the panel, yeah. but I talk with my hands. Of I see that our brain has our own kind of version of the movie, <clears> right? Yeah. And then there's the reality reel. Right. And so right now, your version of what somebody would do in this situation, especially if they're asking for advice, is they Mm -hmm. would do X Mm -hmm. and he's not. And what's happened right now in your own brain is because this movie reel doesn't equal this one. Mm -hmm. Your brain's thinking something's gone wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. And so that has made you feel uncomfortable. And so you clearly you want to go and fix it. Yeah. Right. But here's what I do. I fix things. Right. But here's the thing is he's, that's his experience. And he gets to, as Kenny said, is the more that we can just accept that he's going to make the decisions or not. I mean, he's making a decision and he Mm -hmm. continues to stay. And then just, I'm hoping he's buying you lunch. at least. (laughs) No. Okay. Well, Dutch. Okay. Dutch at worst. (laughs) Yeah. 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 We're yeah. We split. It's fine. Okay. But even there now the decision gets to you of, the thought you're having that he should be different, that he should be reacting different, right? Creates you to have this, this feeling of frustration yeah. inside. And that's what, it's so funny because that's what this whole coaching thing is about, is yeah. it's teaching you on oh my how God, you think. This whole you. session was about me and not about him. Yeah. I'm just happy it wasn't about me because usually it's me making a mess. <laughs> so quite frankly, I'm thoroughly enjoying this because I, you know what? Phil, I'm with Lori. <laughs> You're such a suckle. <laughs> I don't care. It's my podcast. Well, I mean, I don't do much on it, but bottom line, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I want to be smart like Lori. Uh, me too. I want to be smart like Lori. I love this. But Phil, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. Yeah, it really so does. Here's, here's the thing is you, you already nailed it, is yeah. you get to decide. So yeah. if you no longer want to feel that frustration, yeah. but just get this is you're thinking you have to change the circumstance and no longer have lunch with him. Yeah. But Maybe it's a coffee. Thing. But here's the thing yeah. is you can actually, and I would almost encourage you on just to do it as a trial is have lunch with him, but you get to decide the thoughts you're going to have is he gets to be him. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. And so what are you making it mean if he's not taking anything of how of any of the questions yeah. he asks you or anything? Yeah, yeah. What do you make that mean? Yeah. Like, oh, we're just having lunch and he's asking me questions. Yeah. I I I I'll tell you what this and I and I and I'm this right now crappy we've saw I think really what we all need to try to do a lot more is just just be there for that you don't have to fix it you don't have to change it. you don't have to like it but you can respect it and just say listen fine but you know what I mean I think right now we're just yeah. we're getting so so dug in in this world on sides and it's 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 becoming so divisive and it's not that this is an example of that Phil per se, but it sort of is like when we've yeah. lost the ability just to say, you know what? I don't understand what you're doing. It's not on a path I would go, but that's fine. It's your path right yeah. now. I can be a friend and I'll listen to you, but I probably, I'd probably chime in periodically. Listen, I mean, if we're just chit chatting, I'm okay with this, but you know, like, do you want me to, do you want me to spit out some advice or do you just want me to listen? Like, tell me where you're going with this one. And maybe you That's go down that path fire. because the shitty yeah. part is you don't want to, I don't know. I just think we respect to walk away from things that we just, it just doesn't fit the world and that's okay. But the respect thing of, of what people believe or think, it's got to sort of come back maybe just a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's not yeah. that big a deal. So the guy yeah. drives you crazy in a couple lunches and he doesn't do what Phil wants to do. It's not about Phil. It's what would Lori do? First off, so like focus on the damn program. <laughs> got shit to do with what you want, Phil. So quite frankly, as soon as he starts, you go down that path. What would Lori do? And no, you know no, what but, Lori but, would do? Lori would just sit there and be nice about but it. It's Not like, like you, Phil, trying to fix the whole it, world. Uh, Lori would do it in yeah, a nicer way. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, no. But 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 I think that's legit. Like I think I think qualifying is something you know because i i do I, I like having lunch with him right but but i think qualifying it um helps my brain delineate right might, it might help and him so too, so if it's just look like do you want to just shoot the shit I, i'm good with it That's right fine. but if you're asking me for advice you know, that's, it's, it's a whole different thing, right? Like let's, let's then let's sit down and actually do something about it or, okay, or though, I can, that's, I can that's help what you, you want. You if know. he's looking for advice, the yeah. qualification shouldn't be, okay, I'll give you the advice, but the parameters are that you have to follow the advice. Yeah, well, that's not, is, if I'm good. Oh, okay, Phil, <laughs> my please. Okay, now leave it. Okay. If I start making sense, it's down logical. I mean, this whole world, we're like on the, we're on the verge of Armageddon. Look, look, okay? I, I'm like, now I'm talking I paid my to hats. fix well, things on, Phil, everywhere. Please. It makes me crazy. I can't oh fix it. Oh my God, like... you're worse than me. That's impossible. No, no, if I, I start I talking rational, I don't think it is. Uh... I actually don't think it is. So I, I literally fix things everywhere I go. So I go oh, to the in-laws. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not joking. Like, I am that it's guy. Not a washing like, machine. Like, yeah, no, no. I've I've like gone to friends' houses. I, I'll fix washing machines. Like I'll not with feelings I'll you fix, won't. Um, leaky toilets. Leaky toilets. No feelings. Off at Just a problem. Houses. I will actually fix leaky toilets. So. Like Lori, the help trips him, to the top. He's like, not hearing. He he wants to just. Convince. I know. See, he's not. No, no, no. Uh, I I heard. I heard you the guys. The Italians but, listening. But, Come on, buddy. This this is a this is a great big set of stairs for me. So yeah. Armageddon, baby. <laughs> We're right on the verge. <laughs> like, and and you know. so honestly, what I would yeah. offer you is, um, I have this great saying of how you do one thing, you do everything. So yeah. you're already your brain is offering you that I'm a yeah. fixer. Yeah. So, and I love like catching ourselves when we give ourselves I am yeah. statements. Yeah. It just makes it as if it's a fact. And it's like, so your brain's going to just say, well, this is what I do. Yeah. Right? And yeah. so, again, going back to your audience, how many people just say, well, I'm just an accountant. That's all I can do. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It's like, yeah, so yeah. those questions of always coming back, of like, what if that wasn't true? Yeah. And we just proved yeah. to you that there are some things that you can't fix and you oh, can just. Can fix. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I up. totally get it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And just and because right now it's your thought that that's what he needs. Yeah. Right. In yeah. order to make you. And the, here's the here's the real nugget of it, though, is that you want to fix him to make your uncomfortableness go away. Yeah, that's 100 percent right. 100% right. <laughs> <laughs> because so his life will be better after I fix it. Okay. I'm joking. No, really. I, I, but I understand that though. Right. Yeah, really and do. that's yeah. like the, the client I met today is she was giving all of her employer, all of her feelings and saying, well, he has to tell me I've done a good yeah, job yeah, in order for yeah. me to feel valued yeah, and yeah. good. It's yeah. like, 
How about no. you just have that thought yourself? Yeah. Now, if you know you did a good job, why can't you just feel good? I mean, why have we gotten to the point where we have to get validation from somebody else when we've done, if you did the right thing, you've done a, a good job, then you did a good job and you did the right thing. Yeah. Like if you know you did, now if you're, if you're second guessing and you're trying to make a wrong right, that's a different path. But if you know you did well, yeah, you did well. I mean, yeah, not, you don't get pats on the back every day. It's just not how life works. Well, but even the pats on the back, what does that do for us, right? I don't know. Well, it makes you feel good. Well, here I'm going to catch you though, only because the thought that you're having that somebody exactly. thinks that you've done a good job, right? Yeah. As it's opposed the, to just looking internally and saying, you know what, I did a good job. Yeah. See, I yeah. listen to you, Lori. I mean, I'll practice anything you tell me, but I do listen. I'm trying hard. Not like the other one over there. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! No, no, I. <laughs> Listen, I'm just happy because typically when you go down these paths, I'm the one that's going to go off the rails. So if I sound like the rational, reasonable one, I'm all over this one. No, no, but 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 I get that, right? I I think for me, I I think that's the I think the big thing for me is is figuring out how to keep that stuff delineated, right? Like is is that first step of of just like look. We're gonna we're gonna just gonna chill out, right? Like Let's have a nice lunch. You know, um, yeah, yeah. Lunch. We're just gonna chill out, right? Like, and whatever happens in the lunch happens, but it doesn't mean I gotta do anything about it. No, in just fact, have a nice lunch. In fact, until they actually ask me to do something about it, I really should just it's just a conversation, right? Like we're just a couple of guys chilling out, having a nice lunch, right? Although so I, think, I think you should think be able to say uh, what you feel. I mean, if you're in a conversation with somebody and they get to voice what they feel, I feel it's fair game that I get to voice what I feel. Again, respectfully, it yeah. shouldn't be a, you know, a, a bloodbath yeah. unless they've completely offside. Yeah. At that point, I'll make my peace, I'll pay for a meal, meal and then we're finished. I'm going to get away yeah, from I, that's I think my that's, choice too. I think that's a subsequent step for me. I, I think the first step is like, I, I think it really is like, I, I've got I've to figure out how to just stay out of the conversation. Not, not, because I don't care or any of those sort of things, but because I have to train my brain not to fix. Unless the they've asked you know, to it's fix not it. my leaky toilet. I don't have to fix it, right? Yes. Like somebody else right. will do it. So and here's this you know, that, that one yeah. thing of how you do one thing, you do everything. My yeah. guess is that this shows up in other areas of your life, right? That you want to fix other, yeah. Yeah. right? Of other things. Yeah. Of well, no, you need to do it this way. So that so I just offer you catching even just observing that and being raising your consciousness to that and then going yeah. oh isn't that interesting yeah. i think if they were to do things differently then i would feel better yeah yeah right it's like yeah. that's not how this all works i get to yeah. feel better regardless of what they're yeah. doing yeah and so yeah. when you go for lunch with him he can do whatever he wants as long as you like the reason for having your lunch yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you want to yeah, go yeah. for lunch yeah right yeah no i get that i get that yeah i think that's a good first step Okay. Well, look yeah. at this. Glad this is can, a great I'm glad episode. We can help you, Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, you know, this is why Lori's too smart for us, right? This uh, this episode started with somebody yeah, else. I was holding my own pretty like, good there. I'm hey, gonna just, you know, this is about me. This is. Not, <laughs> I'm liking this episode. On. This, I think, the 100 is my most favorite episode. Now. <laughs> is this? Is this? I the made it through. TSN I didn't do anything turning half point the... I actually made a little sense. I showed that I can listen. I can practice a few things. Are, have I feel you been holding dead. back for a hundred episodes? Is this what's Whatever. been happening? Don't, don't go like, down that path to make yourself feel better now that just, the last 99 were yours. It wasn't those 99 ones episodes. But this one, I got you. That's all I'm going to go with you. You got to listen it. a little bit better. <laughs> I love it. That's so fantastic. I oh, think man. I'm going to replay this one uh, as soon as it, soon as it launches. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, because... Uh, I might have to get a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I, might, I might just edit you right out. Maybe it'll just be an interview <laughs> with me and Lori. So you remember well, that's I... That's fine too. Whatever. <laughs> I, I have my phone on. I recorded the whole thing. <laughs> you want to play that way? I'll play that way. Oh, my cheeks hurt from laughing. Actually, you know I can't do that because I don't know how to use technology. So I wouldn't even know how to record this. <laughs> That's Lori, all I love that you're on the show. So do I. Well, thank you. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate so that. Much fun. So much fun. Because yeah. I think we're, yeah, we yeah. just got a lot of free advice, which we kind of yeah. like too. <laughs> I love it. So, so if, if, uh, if our listeners are out there, um, we're going to, we're going to bring Lori back. Um, what did we say? Once a month, once yeah. every, once a month, right? 
So, so you have a month to gather your thoughts and send us some feedback. And then, uh, so then we got three weeks to make a mess of our lives so that we oh, can ask Lori what to do to. on the last three that, weeks. That is not hard. Like that'll start pretty much right a, at the end of this. I'm trying podcast. to make it sound like they, they, they're not that bad. Maybe, I, you know, I think, I think it's more like Lori has three weeks to sort through our shit to find out like what, what is my waste might sounded better though. <laughs> Yours might've been truthful and accurate, but that's not the point. It's not how you feel, Phil. Remember we're trying to, you know, yeah, so, yeah, I got it. Let's live a little it. bit of fantasy for yeah. a moment. Maybe we're not that bad. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you if you guys have something that you want to work through or you have questions for Lori, you can send it to us at thiscommercelife.com or where can they find you, Lori? Yeah, uh Lori at laurieshoplin.com would be awesome. And that's L-A-U-R-I-E. Okay. And um, yeah, I'm doing uh, something that your listeners are most welcome to is I'm doing a free training on overwhelm, how to overcome overwhelm Ooh. as an entrepreneur. That's one that I fall into hook, line and sinker. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm just going to yeah. run a quick webinar on that, which is Monday, the 25th coming up here. So, okay. yeah. so is, they there, can find is there a sign up link for that? Somewhere? No, they just have to email me there. They have to um, email you. Yeah. So I'll put that in the show notes. Is that next? So it'll be next Monday it's run? Uh, Monday the 25th. The 25th. So, oh, okay, good. So they've got a week. Yeah. Because this will drop next Monday. So they'll get a week. Yeah, better. To... You get Linda on us. <laughs> I don't want any more texts from Linda. <laughs> On, on how uh, how we don't post the, the podcast when we don't know what we're doing with the podcast. Oh, okay. Understand that one? Oh, man. Oh, poor Phil. You know, but, you know what, though? Phil, honestly, no one knows how to do anything, Lori. I don't know how I, to do anything. They're all getting mad at me. I don't know what to that, do. That was honestly one of my most funniest moments. Like, I have no idea where Monday went, right? Like, he, yeah. Kenny's like, did we not do a podcast? And I'm like, listen, chill your jets. Like, it's like 10 p.m. This is when I normally – wait. Holy crap, it's Tuesday. Like, so I'm not going to text them back and say, listen, hey, Sherlock, it's because you're a day late and I'm getting shit from Linda because where's the so, podcast? So, you know, the, that so I don't know funniest, how to do. So, the funniest part about that is <clears throat> I can tell you now because it's really funny, but um, that was the week that I recorded on the MacBook that I was testing. Yeah. And the MacBook was at the office downtown. So, I. <laughs> So at Once 10 again, p.m. that uh, so, really, uh, so when you no no it was just really funny. Us, right? So I don't no, know. No, it was really funny. So so I literally I, like I I I started panicking. I was like, I gotta go produce this podcast. Then I go and then I I get on this computer. I'm like, where the f is the f and podcast? Right? Like and so you know like if if you do any recording whatsoever, the first cold sweat that breaks is like, holy mother. Oh, you didn't. Record I didn't it record again. it. Right? Like oh, oh my god. So so and then I spent five minutes going. It's got to be here. It's got to be here. It's got to. I'm sure I record it. It's got to be here. And then I was like, it is not on this computer. Wait, where's the other computer? Right? Like, so I had like, like from 10 to 12 that night, I was just like, what the hell is like, my whole life is upside down. Like, where is this crap? Right? Like, it was really funny. See what I got to put up with, Lori? See, it's, yeah, it's see, really tough, you lost man. the day and, and the computer. Like, yeah, it was, it was really funny. I was just like, oh my God, you're an idiot. Like, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, thank you for being on this episode. Thank uh, you, Lori. We're thank so you. Always Congratulations us. on your 100th episode, then, guys. That's thank fantastic. You. Thanks for being a part of the 100th episode. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. We'll um, tell Jimmy that when we hit 200, he can come okay. on for 200. Okay, awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. Poor Jimmy. Jimmy, we love you. That's all good. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thank thanks. you. Lori, Have thanks again. Day. Appreciate it. Have a great Chat night. Chat soon. Ciao. Okay. Bye. Bye. Phil, we're done too? Or yeah. what are we doing? Yeah, we're done here. Okie dokie, my friend. Okie dokie, That was man. really good. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was really great. It was really I, great. I, you know what I'm happy about? I'm actually, yeah. I'm actually, I think I actually listened to Lori. Like I'm actually trying, I'm trying yeah. my hardest to actually do this stuff. Yeah. Like and yeah. actually think it through. Cause like, yeah. I really don't, I, I don't know. I think I've, just even doing like, I think I've learned a lot since I've left. Yeah. I have yeah. probably, I learned a lot before, but I've learned a lot. And then even just that one episode with her, whenever yeah, we did yeah. that one, like yeah, I yeah. took, I mean, it's not, it's an hour. I mean, I, you can't change, you know, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying really hard. To no, listen, no, but, it, but, but I sure think it makes sense. I think the, 
really like i think that's why the what would laurie do thing sticks with me right is i like is it because because i really i need it i love that phrase and i love that it checks because it, it checks me too right because I, I literally have those moments it's it's how i got there tonight right it was just like okay laurie would not give that advice she would just listen so what the fuck am I, I know doing, but it takes right? some time like, so you got to yeah, work yeah, through yeah. it and because i'm even thinking no see i know she would say that's not how you do it yeah and i'm trying to yeah. catch myself because i'm no yeah. i do this i'm notorious with amelia with this yeah right because as a husband i think which is probably and and um as a guy yeah you know, a lot of issues right is it, yeah. you know you're when when i just i, I just want to fix it yeah. yeah and it's hard sometimes well, to understand that yeah. it's not she's not telling me things because she wants yeah. me to fix it yeah it's really just, just shut up and listen yeah 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 i just i just want to tell well, we you are, but we are wired to fix everything right like that's that's kind of i know but we gotta work, then we, we gotta do, rework right? the wiring so, a little yeah bit, yeah yeah right? agree because agree, it, agree. It's bottom line is that's agree. not what that's what wasn't no, what she was that's asking not for. what it's for yeah and yeah, i don't yeah, think yeah. your friend's the same way yeah yeah i'll convince that's what i think he just wants to yeah spit it out and maybe that's for him to get to the decision is he needs to kind of just keep saying this and it'll yeah, it'll work. It sort of works. Out. It's yeah. yeah, and then yeah. it might come to the taste. Say, listen, Phil, I really need your advice on this. Yeah, right now. yeah. What do but I do? Anyway, it's yeah. all good. It's all good learning. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah that's Love a little it. too much for tonight. I got to go take a rest now. <laughs> Very stressed out. All right. A all lot right. of learning. See you, buddy. Okay, Matt. We'll chat Have with you soon. Night. Okay, thanks, man. You too. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Bye. All right, that's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with uh, with more commerce news.